Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Trying to get these Mercury retrograde readings knocked out before the end of the day. Tomorrow. I'm going to try. Let's see how it goes. We've got a lot of stuff going on right now. And I couldn't throw down cards at all yesterday because I had to go buy a new car. Yeah, a situation came up and... We are a two-car household, and the domestic partner's car took the final ride on Tuesday, so <laughs> thank God he had Wednesday off, but um, I didn't, so Thursday morning I had to go to the dealership and play Let's Make a Deal, and well, it's working out good so far, so we'll just hope that it continues to work out that way, and... Yes, I don't follow my own advice because I made a huge financial decision and signed a bunch of paperwork yesterday during a Mercury retrograde, but it is what it is, right? Aries, you're up for your Mercury retrograde reading. All right. There we go. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given to you by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, leave it on the table and walk away. It's not your message. And that happens sometimes. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome to the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Last Mercury retrograde of 2020. And just another friendly little reminder if you are under the age of 18, please click out of the room. This is not meant for children. If I need to age restrict the video, I will. But I'm not going to be happy about it. And nobody wants Big Mama Sag unhappy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Aries, who's coming back for you? Who's coming back to haunt you? Oh, wow. Twin Flame? Possibly. Soulmate Energy for sure. It's the Four of Imps. That's the Four of Wands. That's the celebration card. This is someone you have a deep connection with. Okay. What happened? I'm going to throw a clarifier on that. The Hierophant. Okay. It all fell apart because possibly um, they could be married to someone else. Perhaps they were engaged to someone else. I don't know. I mean, throw a clarifier on that too, Aries. What's up? What's going on right now? Three of imps reversed. Somebody didn't wait around. Either you didn't wait or they didn't wait. My, this is more their energy than yours. They weren't waiting. Okay. So why did they return? Oh, nine of bats. You know what I literally love about this deck? This is my Halloween deck. This is my super special Halloween deck, and I love it. I only bust it out during the month of October just for these special readings like this. Yeah. Literally, they returned because they're bats crap bonkers about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're losing sleep. This has kept them up at night, Aries. Wow. Okay. Let's get some clarity before I throw down the other three cards. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Aries, please, for their Mercury Retrograde ring? Last Mercury Retrograde of 2020. Hey, now. <coughs> that didn't even connect. That was horrible. Who flew out? Queen of Coins reversed. Chariot reversed. 
Seven of coins reversed and the page of rods. We'll see if they come back out. One more. Six of Swords reversed, Queen of Coins reversed with the Imp. Hmm. Somebody could be a little bit codependent, either financially or emotionally. Okay. Could be an air sign, could be an earth sign, could be a fire sign. Why the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords reversed? You want to talk. I'm going to let you talk. Ah. Ace of Cups reversed. Could be someone with self worth issues. I mean, possibly. Ace of Cups reversed next to a Queen of Coins reversed. This may not have been the first time they returned either. I think this is someone who's kept trying, possibly. Why is the hair fit here? Eight of Swords reversed. Page of Rods and the Four of Swords. One of you had something they had to sort out. I think one of you just wanted to be set free. I think one of you wanted it more than the other person. I mean, you still hold a torch for each other, but somebody had something they needed to lay to rest, something they needed to sort out. Weird. Okay, why is the three of them reversed here? Okay. Justice reversed. Not waiting around for justice. Not waiting around one more. Page of coins reversed. That seed was never going to grow. Not waiting around for things to level out. Not waiting around for a seed that's not going to grow. One more. You want to talk. I'm going to let you. Devil card. You are still connected. I think you were all energetically all, all up in each other. Mm. On an energetic level anyway. I don't think you're talking right now. I get this very strong sense there is no communication going on. But energetically. Hmm. Wow, okay. Why is Nine of Bats here? Okay, the Four of Wands and that Devil, you are energetically braided. Oh, wow. I'm, they're kept up at night. They might have bad dreams about you. I don't know. This is super weird. Like, they know it's not going to grow. They know it's not going to go anywhere. And they know that. They understand that. Maybe they just want to be friends. But this Empress reversed in this Three of Cups... Maybe they just, they want to reconnect with you. I mean, you know. I'm going to throw one more on that. Just for kicks. Why not? Hi. Hey. No, no, no. Not the floor. No. 
Always gotta hit the floor. I don't like the floor cards. Two, four, six of coins. They wanna level the playing field. Right now things aren't even, things aren't equal. There's no hope for it. It's just an energetic connection at this point. They want a real connection, even if it's just friendship. They want to level that playing field out. Th I think something happened that still bothers them, Aries. Wow. Oh, wow. This could have been someone you were engaged to, possibly with the Hierophant. But I'm thinking it all fell apart because they had stuff they had to clean up elsewhere. Or the time just wasn't right. With that page of rods, maybe someone wanted to move forward more than the other. I don't know. You weren't on the same page, anyway. Alright. How do you feel about it? You don't want no part of communication. The Ace of Bats reversed. What do you think about it? Oh my. Magician reversed. That's not happening. It's not going to manifest. Or you could think that they're a manipulative person and that's why it's not happening. Maybe that's why... Alright, what are you going to do about it? Page of Swords reversed. You're not talking. You're not communicating. You're not talking. Wow. Okay. I don't think I'm going to... I might. I might go for three. Well, why not? You want to talk? You landed right here. You're not talking to this person. You're not putting energy into this connection. Sometimes the cards tell us what we're not doing. One on the magician, please. Come on. Hi. <laughs> King of Blades reversed. Yeah, um... You have... Oh, a mouthful of sour grapes. Oh, this just... Your face, like, may pucker up when you think of this person. You are not all about this. One on the Ace of Bats, please. See, I'm not beating the cards over here. They're pretty much all saying the same thing. You don't want a part of this. Page bands reversed. You might as well just super glue your lips shut. I mean, you don't want to talk to this person. You don't want to deal with it. You see them as horribly manipulative. But you're you're energetically braided, and that's the weird part. I think you're definitely soulmates, and I think there was definitely a lesson here. Oh my gosh, light bulb just went on for me. The Hierophant's the teacher of life lessons. There is a good chance that you just came into each other's lives for someone to learn a lesson. Could have been yours, could have been theirs. And when the lesson was learned, class is over, bell rings, time to go. Okay, well, you're not talking to them. You're not putting energy into it. You have kind of a bad attitude about it. Let's get some advice. Why not? Two of, well, two of imps and the ace of ghosts. You got to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for you. You need to love yourself first. You need to let go of the past. Let go of that wand of the past and move forward toward the future. Stay steady on your path, whatever that path may be. You got to do what's best for you. Four of rods upright. Nine of pentacles reversed. You can have a connection with someone, okay? You don't necessarily have to put energy into it. There's acknowledgement, and then there's... 
getting sucked back in. Okay? I'm think I'm hearing and I'm sensing and I'm thinking, don't get sucked back in. Okay. I think that's what we have for you, Aries. Happy retrograde. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> it's almost over. It's a couple more days. And then a couple more days of pre-shadow. And then we're done for about three or four months. And life will be sweet and beautiful again. Okay. <laughs> Everything wraps itself up in a pretty pink package. Just in time for American Thanksgiving. But you know, if you celebrate it. Thanks for coming by, Aries. I will catch you guys in a few days for your November reads. And here very shortly for the weekend top and bottom of the deck. Thanks for coming by. Have a nice night. Week. Weekend. Just live it up. <laughs>